the Samwex Workshop. Today we're going to show you how to convert one of our desktop power supplies, the SEC-1223, to 240 volts. Regularly in North America, the power supplies are configured for 120 volts, 60 hertz. It's very easy to convert to 240 volts, and because it's a switching power supply, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, it really doesn't matter. The modification is the same for all the range of desktop power supplies, the 1223, the 1212, the 1235, and the 1235M. Now I'll quickly show you how to do it. Thank you. So here's our 1223 power supply. First thing, of course, is to remove all power from the input, and it's best to take the output connections off as well. Remove the four screws, two on each side which will permit you to remove the cover. The jumper that has to be removed is this yellow one right here. Simply pull it off and you'll be enabled for 240 volts. Before you go any further, it should be noticed that the fuse should be changed from the 2.3 amps to a 4 amp. So that should be changed as well. It's a, it's a, you can go to Little Fuse and get a replacement. It's a mini fuse glass fuse, you can see it right in the underneath there. So it's relatively easy to access. Once you've done that, reinstall the cover. I would hang on to the strap and maybe tape it on top so that you know it has been changed. You won't have any problems applying 120 volts to a 240 volt unit, but it will not work 100%. All right. And 50 or 60 hertz really doesn't matter at all. It's a switch mode power supply, so it can handle any frequency. So that concludes our session for modifying one of our desktop power supplies, the SEC 1223, for 240 volts. Same applies for the 1212 and the 1235 and the 1235M. The strapping is in the same place, and it looks exactly the same. All right, thanks very much for joining us.